Welcome back to another recipe here at Saltiness Isn't Bliss. Join me while I share with you my pork chop stir fry recipe. Got about one pound's worth of butterfly pork chops here that we are gonna cut into strips. You can go with any cut of pork chop you like and any uh, quantity and amount as long as they are boneless. We are going to use a shallow uh, fry pan here. And we're gonna put one quarter cup of reduced sodium Italian dressing right into the pan and turn it on to medium high. So the dressing that I love and go with is a three cheese vinaigrette, basically a low sodium Italian, or if you can find a low sodium Italian, even better. In the meantime, I've got some of my veggies that are gonna accompany my stir fry. There's broccoli and carrots in here, so you can see those. Um, I've got those getting ready to boil on the burner because I want to take that raw crispness out of them when I add them to my stir fry. Okay, so while my veggies are starting to cook in the pot and my Italian dressing is heating up in my pan, I'm going to start to prep my pork. So what I'm going to do is take kitchen scissors or a knife or whatever you've got handy. I'm going to trim that edge of fat off of them. Now, if you want to leave that on there, you certainly can do that. But I just want to get that all trimmed off of there so it's out of my way. I'm going to turn my veggies down to medium. They are getting a nice little rolling gentle boil there. Now my pork, my smaller pork was butterflied. I cut it in two. So I've got two actual uh, pork chops here that I can now cut into strips. You can leave it all as one piece. That just is a little quicker and easier. So we're just gonna cut them. Now this really can go by whatever size you prefer, but that's about a good thickness and it'll get longer as you go through the pork. All right, so I've just moved my pan off of the heat because that um, dressing in there was starting to get really hot, really warm, starting to boil really good. So I'm just gonna leave it aside for right now. So back to my pork, uh, like I said, we wanna cut them into about half inch to one inch strips. Um, of course, you can tailor that to whatever size pork chop you are working with, but that's about how one should look when they're ready to go in the pan. Okay, guys, my butterfly pork chops are all sliced up, ready to go in my pan. So I'm just going, whoop, there goes one on the floor. <laughs> that one might not make it in the pan, but uh, I am going to lay the rest of these as best I can in there and then you will cook them until they are completely cooked through or there is no more pink. Um, so probably about 10 minutes and then we will add in some more good stuff to our stir fry. All right, so here is some of my veggies that are go gonna go in the stir fry. I've just drained the water out. I'm gonna just set those aside. I have put a lid on my skillet that has all of my pork in it, turn the burner up to medium. So I've got a real nice little gentle boil going in there. You do want to stir and flip those occasionally, but not too much, you know, it'll, it'll cook through kind of all on its own, especially because they're not so big. So now, while we are waiting on all that, we are going to mix up our sauce that is going to go into our stir fry and really give it that stir fry flavor. So, in a bowl and I'm going to use a mini whisk. You can use a fork or whatever spoon, whatever you've got handy. We're going to put two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce. So what I use is coconut amino. Coconut amino is a great alternative uh, to soy sauce that is low sodium. So we're going to put two tablespoons of that in the bowl. One teaspoon, I don't know if you can see that without me spilling it, but one teaspoon of cornstarch, and a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. And then we want to just take our whisk and mix and blend the powder into the liquid. We have a real nice creamy sauce that almost kind of looks like a gravy, if you will. There we go. So we're going to just set that aside. I'm gonna make some rice on the side. Um, as you've seen in previous videos, I like to use instant rice. It's quick, it's easy. So I'm gonna get my water going. I'm going with one cup of rice for this. Of course, you can use whatever rice in whatever quantity you like. So I'm gonna make a half a cup of water. So whatever my rice amount is, 
my water will be half. So I am going to get my water going. Got my rice here all measured out. So as soon as that water's boiling, that will go in there. And something else that I am gonna prepare on the side to go in my stir fry is sliced water chestnuts. I love these. I think they really bring the stir fry together. Um, they do come in a whole version as well. I always go with the sliced. And the great news is they're low sodium. Okay guys, here are my pork chop strips. They are coming along. That boil got a little carried away there, so I did turn the burner down to medium low. Looks like they just have a couple minutes left. So I'm gonna put them right back on the burner and not cover them all the way. Here are my water chestnuts all drained and added to my broccoli and matchstick carrots. Of course, you can tweak the veggies to whatever you love. And it looks like my rice water is ready. So I'm gonna take my lid off, turn my burner off, dump that entire cup of rice right in there. I like to give it a little stir, put the lid back on and take it off the heat. So that will be simmering and getting uh, cooked and ready while I am waiting on my pan here with my pork chops. The other tip and the other thing I wanna share is when our pork is done and cooked through, it's gonna be a lot of liquid in the pan, mostly because we added all that dressing in the beginning. We don't wanna drain that out. So the liquid that's in the pan will combine with our sauce. That is what will help to coat and create your stir fry. So you want to have a little extra liquid in there, otherwise everything won't get coated. And we definitely want this tasty sauce on everything. All right guys, time to create our stir fry. So in our pan, we've got our pork chop strips. We're gonna put all of our veggies right in there. Because we pre-cooked them, we kind of allowed ourselves to skip that step and have them ready to get coated and lock in all that stir fry flavor right from the start. So we're gonna pour our whole bowl of sauce in there. We wanna make sure to get every drop. We can turn the burner down to low cause we are just going to simmer all our flavors now and you wanna give it a real good stir so everything gets all the flavors we just poured in on it. So we will simmer for about two to three minutes and then we'll be ready to eat. See you then. Oh guys, this smells amazing. Before I get it on a plate, I do wanna say the amount and variety of veggies that you put in your stir fry is all up to you. So it really just depends upon whether you want more meat than veggies, more veggies than meat, or just a nice even amount. So you decide and make it work for you. So let's get it on a plate. I'm gonna start with a layer of my rice. There's that. And to that, I'm gonna add a delicious layer of my stir fry. There we go. Pork chop stir fry. Hope you will give this one a try. Thanks for watching. See you next time.